everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bradley Second. So we just got done with the uh, fort and all that. Now we're going under, I think basically under Yu's house. I don't think I did anything major before episodes. I think we're still sitting with that three mil peak. I'm recording this the next day, so kind of like having a little bit of a brain fart of what we did, but I think we're just going under the tunnels, if I'm correct. Yeah, if we go over here to the wells. Oh, uh, okay, actually, never mind. I was gonna say, let's go check the costume shop, but actually, it's not chapter six yet, so there'd be technically nothing to for us to get there. Please, Master Yu, slow down! Yes, I have a spare key to the mausoleum, but why ever would you... You! How dare you come back here, after what you did to Master Yu! It's okay, Alfred. We've already sorted it out. What I need from you is the key. Is that so? Are you certain you can trust them? Whoa, you don't have to glare at us like that, old-timer. Master Yu, the crypts are already open. Huh? So, de the Kaiser is already inside? The door to the crypt is open, you say? But that cannot be! Aside from my spare, the only other key was carried off by Master Denny seven years ago. At the time, he told me he wanted to lay flowers on the grave of his mother. We never saw him again. Hmm. Listen to me, Alfred. About Denny. You still think of your brother, Master Yu? Quite often, actually. As a matter of fact... <sighs> Preposterous! The Dread Kaiser Oblivion is none other than our own Master Denny? Say... say it is not so. Master Denny devoted himself fully to house and church from a young age that he could commit such atrocities. It... it simply boggles the mind. All right, you. It's time you dealt with your brother. Yes, but where will the two of you go? We shall turn ourselves in to the Crystal Guard. You don't have to... A crime is a crime. How can we hope to reform others if we cannot admit our own trespasses? Fair enough. I suppose you're right. Just make sure you speak with Popanyas and all of the others with her. You mean those old knights? What would you have us say to them? Well, yes, them too, but I was thinking of other people. People closer to you. I think they'll be very interested in what you have to say. Huh? Trust me, you'll see what I mean soon enough. Now, I have to go stop my brother. Be safe out there, you. I will, my friend. Okay. <clears throat> inside of... I don't know if it's... Yeah, inside the crypts, technically. I know it's not called the crypts, but Alfred called it a crypt. Oh, it is a crypt. House Geniolja Crypts. Okay. What's the level cap here? I'm curious. 58, and we are 86, okay, fair enough. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the encounters off for now, like usual. It's just, I'm a higher level, so it's okay. Let's just explore the place, and um, we'll, we'll go, maybe once we reach the end of the dungeon, I'll do a couple fights, just so you guys can see what types of enemies are here, but just for now. So, is this crypt specifically just for the Jenny Olja family because that's a lot of graves man that's like six graves per plot and there is many plots so how many people did house Jenny Olja have unless I guess let's go back around and get the other chest why is there so many graves but fair enough I can have someone else fill my space with the tent events, so, uh, yes. 
see what they have to say for us. The spirits are crying, just like back then. Spirits? Uh, sorry, I just meant that sound. It's just the wind, right? Don't scare me like that. Yes, it was just the wind, blowing between the gravestones. But when I was a child, it sounded like wailing spirits. You've been here before, you? Yes, to bury my father, and as heir to House Geniolgia, to pay respect to my ancestors. I don't remember it very well, or maybe I just tried hard to forget. Oh. The more I think about it, the more I realize how hard I've tried to forget my childhood. Eating at a dinner table so big, I could hardly see my parents' faces. The grim silence, broken only by the clinking of cutlery. Everyone seemed so distant. Father, mother, my brother, and his mother. It was as if some massive gulf divided my brother and me, even though neither of us wanted it to be that way. Whenever I did talk to my brother, he was always so kind to me. I always thought to myself, when brother inherits House Genialja, I'll be his right-hand man. But it wasn't to be. Ugh. It wasn't until I went off to study in El Campus that I finally had some room to breathe. Jan and I would go down to the food stalls each evening. Everything was so delicious. But eventually, Father passed, and I returned home to that silent, gloomy dining room. But couldn't you change things? Right! You're the head of the household now. You can eat however you like. I'm afraid it's not so simple. House Genealgia has rules for everything, all laid down by the first of our name. The portrait in the lobby of your manor. That's him, isn't it? I remember that painting. It scared the heck out of me when I got up in the middle of the night. <laughs> me too, sir. I think it's the reason why ghosts are my biggest, uh, well, only fear. Dinner's ready, everyone! Come and get it! Oh, I forgot it was your turn. Don't look so happy about it. Besides, I whipped up something special tonight. This is how I always wanted my meals to be. Food, laughter, camaraderie. Something special, you say? Special in what way? Ta-da! The Ducal Guard Special. Salmon, braised with vinegar, mayo, butter, garlic, pepper, and barbecue sauce! A la vache! What a feast! Yes, this is what I always wanted. It is? <laughs> uh, Idia, don't you think butter and garlic alone would have been enough? What? What was it perfect? It was like a flavor explosion. The Ducal Guard really eats this? This exact recipe? Ugh, so magnifique! It's perfect. That's cute. <clears throat> You're just like staff friends. You know, you had a lonely childhood. That's expected, you know? And I'm glad he's a type of character, you know? We're in the crypts of his dead family members, but, you know, all he can think of is, hey, you know, it's not so bad. Okay, so I need to light these... I'm just gonna take a bright guess and say I need to light those four crystals right next to the door. So, <clears throat> let's get moving here. Um... Okay, so, just up there, let's grab this one. Yeah, it's blocked off, blocked off. Alright, I guess let's just go down this first corridor and see what's up, I guess, right? Let's see, okay, blocked off. There's a lot of blocked off sections. I don't know if anyone's been maintaining these crypts, but they sure did a terrible job if they were supposed to. There's literally crumbling rock everywhere. What if one of these rock things fell on a grave? That grave would be desecrated, you know? Come on, House Jenny Olja, what's up? Um, okay. We go deeper in. <clears throat> Are we recording at 10 minutes already, huh? 
crazy. Dark shield, I'm gonna take a break, guess, and say that's probably not any better, but... Nope. He said, we bought, basically, the best equipment from Chomshire. I still haven't googled if it truly is the best, but I'm just assuming it's the best, considering um, it cost 200000 per piece of equipment. The only thing that I haven't bought... Obviously, I bought all the best weapons. I don't know where to get the best armor from, but I'm just, um... I don't, I don't, I'm not like a huge guide player, so I kind of just, I just want to play the game. If I find it, I find it, you know. It is what it is. Okay, here is the first crystal. So like I said, I guess there's just four crystals that I have to get. There is the green one. I have to go on my way back. That's why I kept continuing down this route, because I knew both of these are just basic dead ends. So I was like, you know what, I might as well just finish down that one route. And then, um, I can come back down this route and finish this one up. I know there's only a single chest, but you guys know how my playthroughs. I, even if it's like a, well, that's kind of worth it. I can't use it. Wait, when I'm like recording like this, it tend, you know, it's like a 60 hour game. I want to have a little bit of fun. You know, I want to see the large hit rate. I want to see the large damage, the fast moving, you know. Also, the nice part about uh, these attacking classes is you get these really strong weapons, you can actually equip them. That was why initially, ooh, there's a summon. I think I could take the summon. You bear. Um, yeah, you know what? Why not? I, I, if I can't survive this at level 80 something, I would be surprised. Very surprised. Susano O. What is it? Let's see what this is. I don't even have any of the other summons, but... It's an electric summon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't even take... Yeah, it didn't even take a hit. Um, it's like I was saying, um... That's the main reason in the last game that I had two monks. Well, I might mostly changed them so I could beat the optional quest, but um, what was really annoying about the monks is the fact that their entire shtick is that they don't need equipment, right? And that's annoying, you know? I got all this great equipment, I spent all that money, and I couldn't use the equipment. Demon's Rod, let's just take a quick check here. Again, no chance that it's better, but... Demon Rod, nope. You know, I get this, all this equipment, and then the monk just says, nope, don't need any of it. It's like, okay, well, that's a kind of a bit boring, if, you know. So, th this this uh, this game, I vowed to myself that I wouldn't use the monk, because I wanted to have fun with all of the equipment. And that's why I basically went the other route and chose classes like the ninja, which need a whole lot of equipment, you know, lots of daggers, you know, just to spice it up a bit, you know, high hit. And also last game, I relied on very um, annoying cheese in the sense that I just went up in the air, stayed in the air for five rounds, and then came down and just did the same over and over. In this game, I thought, you know what, I'm going to cheese this one too, just because I like cheesing, but I'm going to cheese it in a way where I still feel like I'm playing the game, so that's why this whole... Uh, Meteor Rain and High Hit Count Ninja. It's busted and broken, but <clears throat> it still makes me feel like I'm playing the game, you know? <clears throat> Without it, it would almost feel like I'm just here to cheese the game out. Did I already go down these paths? No, apparently not. Okay, so we need one more here. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I didn't cheese out this game that horribly. Okay, so I need to find a way to get to that blue crystal right there. Okay, so one last crystal. How do I get there? Oh, okay, I literally just missed one simple path here. Fair enough, so I have to go all the way around and just get the blue crystal. And then I think, I wonder how many of these puzzles we'll have. <clears throat> Is it just this one? Bang, okay. Now the door should be open. Yup. Alright, let's keep moving here. Gotta walk all the way. And you know what? Just for this one, what I should do? I should really, um, order. 
Let's stick you up front. Then Tiz. Then Adia. Then Magnolia. There we go. I think we should do that. Just to have, you know, this is a used dungeon, right? Technically. So, let's have you up front. I think that'd be the best option here. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and, um, you know what? We didn't even lose that much health from that summon, so. Let me use some high potions here. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a quick save. Save, bang, bang. Okay. Now we can head through the crypt doors. Ooh. Okay, guys, before we go in there, like I said, I feel like I want to see what type of enemies are down here. So let's go ahead and um, put the encounter rate to 100. And what what's down here? Ooh. Okay. Let's just do the classic um, meteor rain, meteor rain. Let's just go ahead and do some Erogas on everyone. Idea, let's go ahead and just do the free lunch with the... Oh, wait, no. I forgot. That's, that's her. Let's go ahead and just do some normal attacks. And then with her, we're going to go ahead and do free lunch with some amp strikes at the Crimson Knight. Okay, let's see how strong they are. Ooh, we're doing a lot of damage even with his now, which is crazy. Oh, we literally killed them with with one person. Okay, fair enough. Let's go see. Ooh, we got three of these. That one's a little different now. Okay, let's keep doing the repeat here. Yeah, see, look how much the ninja does. That's just absolutely nuts. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep it rolling. Let's see how much we can go here. Maybe we can see like one 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 of every type of enemy here. Yeah, so she basically gets four hits in every single time, which almost does around 999. So, well, it probably does around 8,000, so it's pretty close to 999. Okay, another one. Thank you. Free lunch. Damn, see, that one did 999. Okay. See, can you take care of just these two? Oh yeah. All right, we're getting we're we're getting to a pretty high, these guys are pretty easy actually. We're getting to a pretty high multiplier here. Okay. All right, next one. So we're not gonna be able to get to that three point, but we'll be able to get to the two point six. We just kind of we ran out of BP here, sadly. Unless we feel brave next turn, also. Actually, no. I don't think we'll have that chance. Uh, let's see, how much should we get? 47 and 1800 XP. Sheesh. Okay. Yeah, if I wanted to come level, down here would be real good. I could I could level real fast. 18,000 for one of those fights? I could just do like four fights and like... Or do like 15, I'd be up to level 100 or something. Okay. Anyway, alright, let's go ahead and give it a save. I just, I wanted to not be weird. And, I mean, I wanted to at least show you guys what's in this dungeon. Turn the encounter to minus 100 again. Again, I'm overleveled, man. I don't, I don't need to take these fights. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see those fights anyway. You just want to see me fighting the bosses, so. Anything on the sides? Ooh, there's stuff on the, um, okay. <laughs> I guess <clears throat> you won't let us go to the sides just yet. Okay. The reface then brother you I've been waiting for you tell me little brother do you know who slumbers here mm. the first lord of our house founder Jenny Olja descended from the family of the first pontiff he held many key posts from a young age Captain of the Crystal Guard, inaugural leader of the Three Cavaliers. He laid the foundation for the future might of House Geniolja. Founder Geniolja, our esteemed forefather, 
and the man responsible for the corruption and rot that infests the orthodoxy to this day. Riddle me this, little brother. What is the Crystal Guard? An order of knights sworn to serve justice, to defend the orthodoxy and protect the people from harm. Justice, yes. Founder held up the torch of justice and slew countless foes for the sake of the people and the faith. <sighs> but who defined the justice that he trumpeted? Why, he did, of course. As he rose higher and higher through the ranks, he used his influence to brand personal rivals as enemies. Political rivals who threatened his influence, wealthy houses with treasures he coveted, vassals who did not pay the tributes demanded of them, commoners who dared speak the truth. Anyone and everyone could be named an enemy of the Crystal Orthodoxy and sentenced to imprisonment, exile, even death. So that's how our family rose to such wealth and power. We inherited the spoils of this treachery. The blood is on our hands, too. There were fair and just men among our forefathers, of course. You may have seen their gravestones along the way, misshapen rocks without inscription or epitaph. Such was the fate of those who rejected Founder's ideals, those who sought true justice over wealth and power. The names of these would-be reformers have been erased from our family history as dictated by Founder's precepts. The same precepts that drove me from our house, as you well know. All the pain and suffering, slaughter and sin, Founder Geniolja is the source of it all. When I was first cast out, I despaired. I wandered the realm aimlessly, until I heard of something that gave me hope. The compass of space and time. With its power, I would go back in time, find our monstrous forefather, and slay him with my own hand. I will root out the evil at its source and change the course of history. No longer will the realm suffer at the whim of the rich and greedy. The tragic cycle will be broken. This is my goal and that of my comrades. I will shoulder their hopes and wishes and build a new world. And I will not give up the fight until it is done, even if I stand alone. I hear your words, brother, and I feel your pain. But still, I must stop you. Ha! Huh. A blind slave to Founder's precepts, just like the others. No! Don't you see? It has nothing to do with Founder, its precepts, or our family. I just want to save this world. For my friends. My friends who protected me, who encouraged me, who helped me when I was in trouble, and showed me the way when I was lost. Friends who cared for me and helped me grow. I'm gonna save them, and this world, and all the hopes and dreams we share! So you too would slumber in an unmarked grave. We are more alike than I thought. And yet, only one of us can achieve our goal. It is time we settled the score. <laughs> Come you! Show me the strength of your convictions! Go. Okay. Default. 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 Okay. Didn't hurt that much. Also, let's uh, slow it down a little bit here. Default. Couple one. Couple times more. Okay. So he just wants to hit with his sword. Which is fair enough. Meteor rain. Meteor rain. With his, let's go ahead and just do holy magic. Let's do a resurrect. As a mist. And then I do um, Benediction as a mist. Vidya, let's go ahead and use just some normal attacks. And then with Magnolia, let's go ahead and do Bushido, free lunch, and some amp strikes. Okay, and I'm even gonna. Oh, he defaulted right on the wrong turn. 
That's, that's that's slightly annoying, but not the biggest issue. We'll just let Adia just do her thousand hits. We'll probably fast forward just hers, because she does a lot of hits. Is that it? <clears throat> okay, good, good. good. Give I like... so easily. How many times you bring me down, I will rise again! I will not stop fighting until this world is reborn! Denny, listen to me! You didn't see what happened after you went back in time. We saw... We saw the end of the world! No. Worse than that. We saw a world frozen in darkness and despair! <sighs> what you're doing will solve nothing! Denying the past is no way to build the future! If you say you want a better world, then let's build one! Together! In the here and now! Ooh! 999s. Mm. You've grown strong, Neil. That's it? That's. Okay. That's the whole battle. Okay. We can master strong? I didn't know he had masters. Kaiser. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What does this guy do? Dominate the battlefield with unparalleled strength and charisma. Rule friend and foe alike favors sword. Okay, 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 okay. Also, oh, this guy likes great swords. So something like the Excalibur, right? The thing we just got. Ooh. Okay. I'm just. I might maybe switch my pirate to that? I don't know. Brother, you're awake! This... This is my childhood home. I never thought I would see it again. I was defeated. But... You let me live. Yeah, because you's like Batman. It is over. My long-held dream, the sacrifices of my comrades, all for naught. Listen to me, brother. It doesn't have to be over. This is just the beginning. <sighs> you don't need to give up. It's never too late to change the world. Or yourself. Our family committed heinous crimes. Crimes that will never be erased from history. But together... We could start to make amends. And if we do it right, we just might change the future. Stand with me, brother. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, you. But my hands are stained in too much blood to play any part in shaping the future. I murdered too many to count. I abducted the Pope. I allowed my dear friends to sacrifice themselves for my failed cause. My heart may have changed, but my crimes cannot be forgiven. But, Denny... It is never too late to start anew. Your Holiness! Denny Geniolja, the crimes you have committed are grievous indeed. But I would offer you a way to atone for your actions. A chance to start over? Yes. You understand what you've done. That is the first step toward redemption. You would show me mercy? I stole you away, dragged you to the end of time and space. That is the past. What matters now is the future. But what of those who died protecting me, who championed my cause until the end? I have no right to go on living while they lie dead. But don't you think they'd want you to live? To work for change however you can? The only mercy I need is the mercy of a quick death. That I might apologize to my comrades face to face. <sighs> if that is what you truly wish, then come with me to the Sanctum. Very well.
you guys we're gonna end the episode off here if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and comment as well as that channel and i'll see you guys later god bless and goodbye